Challenge, play with your three favorite towers, but with paths that you never use. Okay then, we're gonna be using this strategy right here because as you can see, these are my three top monkeys in all of battles too. Dang, I've really used the banana farm for almost 3,000 games, sheesh. But if you guys wanna see more challenge content like this, let me know by dropping a like on this video. And by the way, if you ever have a challenge idea, let me know down in the comment section below. And if your comment gets a lot of likes, then eventually I'll do it as a video. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe or else you smell like dog poop. And it looks like our opponent's hero is gonna be Etienne. We instead have Gwendolyn. And you guys know the strategy. And I guess these are my three most used towers, which does that equate to my three favorite towers then if I've used them the most, you know? I don't know, man. But that's how we're gonna be doing this video, okay? He's got the Etienne bomb combo. I have seen this combo quite often, especially in the Hall of Masters. So I'd have to say it's probably one of the meta tower combinations currently in Battles 2. And of course, oh no! Why don't I snipe that balloon? Oh, shoot. I'm trying to go no lies lost here if I can. Wait. Oh, I was clicking the wrong button the entire time. Okay, let me get that darn gunner down. Beautiful. So, with today's video, although we are using our most favorite towers, we have to use the paths on those towers that we use the least often. So, with the dartling gunner, I'd say the top path is the least used path out of the three. With the banana farm, it's definitely easily the middle path. And then finally, with the spike factory, I'm going to have to say it's the bottom path. Okay, so... We're going to be trying to focus on utilizing those paths more towards the later game rounds. As for these earlier game rounds, what I'm going to do, because we are still technically doing a challenge, is that I'm going to be going with all of the wrong cross paths. So, for example, on this darting under right here, we already went for the powerful darts. Typically, I would cross path it with the middle path. However, we're going to instead cross path it with the top path, the laser shock, which is definitely questionable, but I feel like it's quite fitting to do since like we're not really doing the challenge at least i'm not doing the challenge until the later game rounds uh, with going for those towers that i don't often use or the paths that i don't often use but we did get down our banana farm first assuming that he is using banana farms yes he is okay so fair play well done round five is here space whites uh let's see how we defend actually i kind of want to go for the laser shock here first just to see like how it does because i'm honestly kind of curious like can it fully defend can it not i have never tried this so I really don't know. Um, at the moment, it looks like we're shredding, bro. So I guess we're absolutely vibing, which technically means I could have greeted a little bit in regards to using Gwen's level three and then going for another farm upgrade, which by the way, let's also go for a banana farm or farmer, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's farmer. Uh, just so we don't miss out on any of the bananas, of course. Uh, did we ever even force that bigger bombs upgrade? Or well, the second top path upgrade? I think we did. I don't know, dude. Like. Etienne just meshes so well with the cluster bomb. Okay, he just upgraded to that. So fair play, well done. Round seven is here. And again, like against all these space blacks, we are full vibing against them. Let's go for another 200 farm then. Okay, so technically, like right now, too, by the way, like although I haven't cross path these farms yet, I am going for the correct upgrades. But like, guys, if I went with the middle path or the bottom path upgrades this early on, they wouldn't actually help me in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> like in regards to making money they don't do anything except for the middle path okay technically the middle path but I i'm not doing that guys we're, we're in the hall of masters guys we are in the highest arena in all of battles 2 going against the best players in the world so like can you cut me a little bit of slack we're no longer in zomg superdome where we're going against very questionable players at times because i swear in that arena i don't know what the heck it was bro Sometimes I felt like I was not actually going against a ZOMG level skilled player. Like, it, it's kind of crazy. But definitely in the Hall of Masters, it feels a little bit different. Although at first I was like, it did not feel different. But I've been going against some pretty decent opponents here recently, okay? Uh, we're going to be probably going for another Darling Gunner here, actually. So let me get that down. It's going to be directly above our current Darling Gunner. So there we go with that. Beautiful. This is going to be a Hot Rock of Pods, which I commonly go for it. but like guys i can't go with the laser cannon and i can't necessarily go with the buckshot because the laser cannon can't pop purples and the buckshot can't pop lead balloons so it's like what do i freaking do bro but camel purples there to force level seven over on his side beautiful freaking full oh shoot i actually had to go for the camera detection upgrade i unironically i'm gonna go for a banana plantation here too as well because oh okay hmm Did I go with the top hat? I did. Guys, let it, let it slide. I panicked and forced a habit. I just went for that. Oh my goodness. Oh, just let it slide, please. Please just let it slide, bro. 
It's actually going to make a huge difference. Oh, my goodness. I'm not selling it, bro. I'm not selling it. I'm just not going to go for the laser shock, okay? How about that? Just won't go for the laser shock. It's absolutely fine, bro. Um, because I just... I would lose out on so much money if I sold it right here, right now, bro. So, I guess we're not going to be doing that. I kind of want to send him a rush, by the way. He's max decoying currently. And he only has one single cl cluster bomb, so... I'm going to send him a little bit of a rush here. Nothing too, too crazy. Okay, it's going to cause a little bit of regrow over on his side. I'm going to balloon boost that as well to force a tower boost. Beautiful. And we force level 3 over on his side. Absolutely beautiful. And a cluster. Oh my goodness, bro. We're forcing just everything over on his side. So, what should our eco goal... In a situation like this, guys, we're, we're kind of like... We're not down bad, but like we're not in the best spot. So, I'm going to now start ecoing with group yellows just so I can like have more money on hand. Because we're still increasing our eco game, but... Again, we just have more money on hand in case we need to go for some upgrades. Because uh, round 17 is about to happen. And round 17 is the first round. And he's going to be able to send us a Moab class balloon. He's already starting to prepare. Going for a bomb there. I'm not going to send him one, though. Okay, I feel like an unfortified Moab is just too easy of a defend for him. So instead, we're going to do... Uh, actually, with that level 3. Level 3 is so good on Etienne, though. It's actually cracked. So I feel like even if I send him a fortified Moab... I don't know, man. I feel like I should, though. And now he's equaling at us with tanks, bro. That's crazy behavior. Okay. I'm going to go then for another farm over on my side. Um, okay, send that. Beautiful. Because he did just upgrade his farm. So he's definitely not going to like that. I'm going to balloon boost this. Okay, he's going to instantly go with that level 3 ability. Surely with a balloon boost, like, he has to do something, right? I mean, he is going for upgrades left and right. Sold a farm, too. Okay. You know what? Oh. Oh. We got the first blood, baby. I didn't even realize we both haven't even leaked this entire game. Okay, that's kind of crazy. But hey, got the first blood. Got him to sell not one, but two banana farms. And forced a balloon impact. And Moab Muller over on his side. And level three. Bro, we just forced everything, okay? That was a good, good send by us. And a good use of a balloon boost. I'm going to be upgrading, I guess, this farm to the middle path. And then, this is going to be a marketplace for us. It's kind of weird, but it's fitting for the challenge, right? So, let me stop ecoing a little bit. Are we fine against all these ceramics? Yes, we are indeed. Beautiful. I kind of want to hit that 2,000 eco mark. You know what? Nah, scratch that. 1,800 eco it is. Round 20 is, in fact, here. Um, I, I guess I'm going to wait for a BFB from him, actually. I feel like he's going to send me a BFB. I could definitely be wrong about that. Um, are we fine here? I really hope so. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go with the bottom cross path. It's so weird. I can't hit camera balloons. Cannot hit camera balloons, guys. So this is definitely... Oh, laggy. Very, very laggy right there. I'm gonna go for another darling gun. Look at that. Dude, our camera detection is actually that terrible. Are you serious? Okay. Maybe maybe I should have cross path that right then. May maybe I should have, bro. I'm gonna go for actually a spike battery right here. Since I feel like I just at this point had to go for a spike storm. Um, I'm going to go with the right cross. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Like, I have to at this point. I don't have to, but. Okay, we're good against that. Beautiful. Okay. I don't know. What do I do here? What do I do here, chat? I'm going to keep this buckshot. I'm going to go for the plasma accelerator. This is so bad. Th we're in such a bad spot right now. It's not even funny. Because I'm going with all the wrong upgrades, bro. Okay, got that, though. Can I... Oh, yeah, clear this obstacle. I probably should have waited a little longer to pop this down. Definitely. Um, This is bad. Okay, we're good here, right? Oh, okay. Maybe I overestimated that. Maybe I did. I kind of want to... Ah, uh, no. I don't know what to sell, bro. I'm going to sell something. Okay, sell all of you, bro. This is so bad, guys. This is so bad. Okay, middle cross path on this again. I haven't even went for any middle path freaking farms, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, he's out farming me, too, like crazy. His eco is probably higher than mine, too. But at least now, like, we can handle the AI much, much better with having the plasma accelerator. Surely, right? He could send us tight moabs, tight leads. Although, tight leads, okay, camo tight leads would be kind of scary. But tight mobs would be even scarier. So, 
Hopefully he does not do that. I could probably send him some as well. But I kind of just don't want to be that guy, you know? So I'm going to go for actually now a spike factory more towards the back of the map here. This is going to be an eventual spike storm for us. Or potential, I should say, for round 26 DDTs. Let's just pop you down. Beautiful. What are you trying to do? Trying to go for a tier 5 farm or something? What's your game plan here? Round 26. What's happening? Nothing out of the ordinary so far. Which is good. Bro, like, this can't pop camos, bro. I don't like this. I actually really don't like this. He just sold something, though. He's going to try to go for a tier 5 farm. Definitely. I'm going to have to send him type... I have to send him those, then. I don't want him to go for that tier 5 farm. I do not. I do not. I do not. Okay. I probably... Ooh, Darling 2! What? And a tower boost! See, he went with the right cross path. Guys, he, he went with the right cross path. I did not. Um, <laughs> I'm going with the right cross path, bro. I don't care, dude. I don't really use the top path in general. Okay? So let me do this. I don't even know if I'm doing the challenge right at this point. This is kind of all over the place, bro. It is really, really all over the place. Okay, he went for that, dude. Oh, my gosh. Can I, like... Can I do that? Okay. You got to sell the farm. What? Okay, bro. Okay. Dude, dude, guys, got... Come, cut me some slack. Okay, it's the first game. Okay, we'll, we'll play another one. But, like, bro, like, I don't even know what to do at times. I, I can't lie with this challenge. It's confusing. As you can see, the screen looks a lot different because, uh, we're in Ceramic Crucible. Bro, I got freaking flagged on my other account. I'm so mad, man. This guy's on a six win streak, by the way. But we're on an alt account, Balloon Tricks, which is an account that I used forever ago for a Rags to Riches series. But the reason why I'm on this account is because, guys, my main account just got flagged. And I'm pretty sure it got flagged because I was map scumming, people like to call it. So, pretty much, I didn't get an ideal map for Dartling Farms by Factory Gwendolyn, so... I happen to just disconnect from the game by just closing my game altogether. Well, I guess that's not allowed in the Hall of Masters because I got flagged and I've been doing it since forever. Like literally for so, so long in this game in ZOMG Superdome, BFP Coliseum. But, you know, recently I haven't been in the Hall of Masters all that much. So I guess it's not technically allowed in the Hall of Masters. But like, I'm not trying to boost anyone or anything like that. I literally just don't get the right map and I just need another map. So I just quickly end the game by just closing the game in the pregame lobby. I'm pretty sure my opponent doesn't even end up gaining any uh, elo off of that. So it's like only a loose situation for me, really, which I don't even care about my Hall of Masters elo to begin with. So because of that, I had to hop on the alt where I don't even have like that many things unlocked. I don't have all the heroes unlocked. I believe I have all of the upgrades unlocked on all three of these towers, thankfully. And hey, this guy is sending balloons. He's on a six win streak. So I'm hoping to have a pretty decent game still. Uh, with this one, okay? I probably should have you set to last, right? I feel like her set to last. I might happen to leak a few lives. You know what? That's absolutely fine, actually. I literally have one banana farm. Banana farmer, sorry. Okay, I don't know why I always call it that. Ooh, he's farming as well. Honestly, I did not expect this out of this guy. So this is freaking hype. Should I try to go with another Dart Ligator set up? Let's do it, okay? Because I, I, I've seen it before, like, with Gwendolyn specifically. Going with the double Dart Ligator tech happens to be kind of good. Uh, depending on the map and everything, okay? Dude, Thin Ice 2! I haven't played on this map in so long because it's not even available in the Hall of Masters. That's like another bad thing about the Hall of Masters, guys. There's a lot of maps that you can't play on in the Hall of Masters because I guess this map is just considered to be too easy or whatever the case is, man. But yeah, you just hate to see it. Okay, we did force the level 3 over on his side. Okay, so beautiful. I probably shouldn't go for this, but I'm going to anyway. Leave you on last. Upgrade at least one of you uh, to the powerful darts. Probably this one. Or actually, no, no, no. Wait, he stopped sending for whatever reason. So, like, at the moment, we're kind of sort of fine. But I'm probably still going to have to go for it, aren't I? Probably. Let's go for that now. Okay, and space blacks, too. Dude, I'm really proud of this guy. Oh, my goodness. Again, we're at Survivor Crucible, guys. This guy's been playing pretty, pretty good so far. I wonder what his third and final tower is, though. That will be the ultimate factor. Darling Farm is not really like a meta tower duo anymore in Battles 2, unfortunately. He even got the farm before the start of round 7. Dude, this guy's a chat. But yeah, like nobody like really in the meta uses this tower combination, unfortunately. Um, so I guess 
He's not running with a meta base strategy, which is good. I appreciate that. Let's go for the greater production on that farm too as well. Beautiful. But I was hoping with this one that like we could kind of do the challenge more authentically, I guess you could say. But <laughs> with the way this guy's been playing so far, I don't know if that's going to be the case, ladies and gentlemen. Round eight is here. Uh, he might send us space purples, which actually we probably would struggle to a bit. So I guess we have to kind of sort of watch out for those. I'm going to go for another 200 farm, which is definitely a little risky. Can't lie. Let's upgrade you. Beautiful. And I'm going to upgrade this to the faster barrel spin. Start going for that. I'm not going to send any space zebras just because I'm the one that greeted here. So I kind of want to play this a little bit safer. Okay. Send the space regen zebras as well. Fair play. Well done. We should be fine against all of these. Okay. He extinguished it. Bro. Bro is watching Boltrix for sure. He freaking extinguished the level 3 ability, although he kind of stopped. Oh, that, that's too late of a farm. That's way too late of a farm. I guess I should have been more ready to send these space leads because he has no means to pop uh, lead balloons, whereas I do with having Gwendolyn. So, oh, Ninja? Okay, bro is definitely playing in the past. Okay, Dart Lane Farm Ninja used to be a meta strategy, but... No longer is, okay? But you know what? We're going to let him be. I want to go a little bit later with this one. And I'm going to upgrade this uh, to the good old Hydra Rocket Pots. I guess I should have been sending Nico this entire time. Oops. All good, though. Round 12. Force group blues over space rainbows nowadays. Should I greed for a farm? In the last game when I did that, it costed me to sell my farm. So I feel like I can get away with it. I feel like I can, bro. Okay, so round 13. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. So I guess we're good to eco a little bit. Like, I'm waiting for him to force the upgrade, you know? Although I literally might just have to upgrade because of the AI. He sent me, like, one set of rainbows right there. You know what? Whatever, bro. He forced it in my eyes. Fair play, well done. He went for the HRP2 over on his side. So fair play, well done with that as well. At least we were able to secure this. Now... I guess, you know what, we'll we'll go with the uh, improper cross path. So I guess for now, we're actually not going to even cross path it because there's literally no point. It doesn't generate me any more money. It only gives me an increase of sell back value. So right before we're about to sell this farm, then uh, we'll go with those bottom path upgrades, okay? I'm going to start going for a spike factory too over on my side because we didn't get to showcase it that much love, okay? And I'm going to go with the path that I don't normally use, which is the bottom path. But I'm going to go with the right cross path. Okay, just because I feel like that's fair, you know? Because we're kind of going with the wrong cross paths. But, I mean, if we go with the paths that we don't commonly use, then, like, it, it just gets a little confusing, you know? And that's why I was a little bit confused in the last game in, in general. Uh, should I send him a fortified Moab or nah? He has a lot of time to react to a fortified Moab. So I honestly feel like it's not even worth if I'm being 100% honest. So, I guess we're not going to be doing that. I'm going to upgrade to another banana plantation, though. So, there we go with that. Beautiful. And as for this last farm, maybe we upgrade this farm specifically uh, to a bank. How about that? We hit the 2,000 eco mark. Although, on a map like this, you could shoot for an even higher amount of eco if you really wanted to. But, we're going to stop ecoing at 1999, the year that I was born. And we're going to go for the good old monkey bank here in a second beautiful okay so oh my gosh what do i do here bro laser cannon okay because this ai is about to get a little bit tougher here for us just want to make sure that we are full vibing i'm gonna go for this as well oh we absolutely shredded right there let's freaking go got the marketplace too i'm gonna send i'm gonna make things a little interesting here i'm gonna send him a bfb here at the start of the next round, fortify BFB. Please be able to defend. He's going to have level 10. He has the ninja. So it should be a pretty straightforward defend for him. Look at us struggling to the AI right here. We are good. Let's actually get back up in eco. Back to 2002, the year that I was born. And fortify Moabs. Okay. He did go for a Sabu even. Okay, bro might be over defending a bit. Oh, yeah. I can't hit camos with this. Oh my, okay, we're fine though. A defend is a defend, and hey, a defend is a defend over on his side too. Fair play, well done, my friend. He might send us his EOMG here because his farm game's not looking all that hot at the moment. So, it's definitely a pretty big possibility. I wanted to build up the spike patch a little bit, but like, I feel like at this point, like, it's like too early to build it up. You know what I mean? Like, it's not even worth the money. 
because he's not being aggressive and i'd rather put that money into my farm game you know so that's kind of my thought process there um fortified ceramics are honestly kind of scary i can't lie are we good against all of them yes we are beautiful so we're gonna be able to sell all these farms i'm gonna go for the imf loan here he's probably gonna be a little bit concerned but i'm gonna sell this farm let's go for the bottom path up here he's now seventeen thousand. okay four thousand so that's around twenty one thousand in selling power right there Plus around 15,000, so 36,000, roughly, of selling power. So we're going to sell that, which we could probably sell that all right here, right now. Because we have enough of the Monkeynomics. So let's do that. Oh my goodness, bro. This is scary, though. Can't lie, guys. Having a Monkeynomics with only 2,000 eco is definitely quite scary. I I'm surprised, though, that this guy, he was, like, playing well, and he still is. It's just, like, he's not forcing upgrades over on our side, bro. You know what I mean? Like, he definitely should have sent us, like, a ZOMG and stuff like that. But I don't know why he really didn't, to be completely honest. Let's use this monkey nomics here. Beautiful. And now I'm going to go for this right here. More up here around 25. Um, I don't know what I want to do. He could send me type uh, more apps, by the way. He could send me a lot of different things. So I'll go for another one of these marketplaces, though. Right here. I'm going to sell this. I'm going to go with the right cross back. Okay. Because it's kind of bothering me. Okay. He sold a lot of farms. Oh, what for the tier 5 farm? Fair play. Well done. I mean, with him having Ninja 2, he kind of sort of has solid DDT defenses. Let's make sure to pop down this Moab, though. Are we good? Are we good? Yes, we are. We're going to sell this into a Monkey Wall Street, by the way. Okay. Round 26. Got to kind of sort of watch out. I'm going to go for this directly in the center of the map okay we can sell you for 14k okay oh yeah we should easily then be able to go for uh, the monkey wall street before the end of this round go for another farm right here too i'm gonna start going with the right cross paths on some of these farms like this farm for example okay oh shoot wait okay are we fine here <laughs> i had to collect the balance bro i didn't want to sell anything dude i didn't want to sell anything chat Okay, let me upgrade the Plasma Accelerator here. Just because we're kind of struggling a little bit more to the AI. So just want to make sure that we are fine against that. Yes, we are. Collect that balance. I'm going to upgrade you to at least his Spike Storm here for round 28 DDTs. He's preparing with a ton more Z uh, ninjas, I mean. Uh, this kind of sucks, though, because like he's kind of greeting a little bit in regards to his farm game. But I don't want this guy to die. And guys, like I should be spamming Middle Path farms, but like... Guys, it, it, you're just going to put... I'm going to put myself in debt. Like, it makes no sense. So, like, I kind of just don't even want to do that. If I'm being completely honest. So, we, we went for this first. Now, we're going to be spamming the good old BRFs. I guess I probably should have sold into a B Central by now, though. Yeah, so, I'm going to wait a second. Wait for my next Monkey Nomics ability to come back. So that we can cash that out into a B Central, Okay. And I kind of want this guy to rush me, but... Oh, wait. He's selling farms. Dude, sold it to the B-Central. This guy's a Chad, bro. He's a freaking Chad. Let's go for that as well. We're definitely out farming him by a little bit. I mean, I have a entire tier 5 farm on him, but... Still, he, he definitely has the right idea. I feel like we should just be aggressive at this point, by the way. So, I'm going to go with the Perma Spike here. I probably should have actually utilized this or went for this a bit sooner. Just so we can like get the perma spike spikes on the map you know so i'm gonna try to go for that here beautiful at least you can deploy some here at the start of round 30. now i'm gonna cross path you with the bottom path even though like that's not really a challenge but whatever i'm gonna do it anyway pop this all down beautiful we're chilling he went for a double brf yeah i feel like i'm gonna have to rush him just all out him on round 32 with constant spaced fortified BEDs. And then we're going to have to watch out for a potential counter. Now, I do want to utilize the upgrades that I don't commonly use, such as the Ray of Doom. So let's do that. We got the Perma Spike, and then we already went uh, for the Middle Path Farm. I literally, like, watch any of my farm videos. I never go for that, bro. Literally never. Look at how much bigger the Ray of Doom is compared to the HRP. I never realized <laughs> that's how big the Ray of Doom is. Hey, yo, he's trying to take the farm lead now, bro. He's trying to take the farm lead now, dude. Come on, Ray of Doom. Shred for me. Shred for me, Ray of Doom. Oh, pop that. 
because we got to immediately send uh, the fortified BADs here. Because his defense obviously is quite lacking. Oh my gosh, round 31 is so long. He has the life advantage. Maybe that's why he's not really in a position to rush, I guess. Oh, that was that was technically a space. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. Okay. Okay, send another here. Okay. You gotta start selling bars, my friend. I'm gonna balloon boost now. Okay, went for our MAD. We're still generating some money out of this. Collect the balance from this. Okay. I mean, he. this is possible that he could defend this. He can just sell all of his defense, or not defense, all of his farms. But it's definitely not going to be a walk in the park. I did not, like, properly do this, though. Can't lie. Okay. We're good against all of that. Yes, we are. We do have to watch out for DDTs. Come on. Round N. Sell you. He's got to watch about... Oh, no. He has Master Bomber. He should be fine against all the insides. Oh. Okay. Send another. Yeah. It, he's just getting overran, bro. Clutch you. Sell you. Boom. Go for carpet of spikes, I guess. DDTs are definitely still a pretty scary thing, you know? Send another. Hey, yo, he's doing... Dude, you're doing phenomenal, though. You're doing phenomenal. I gotta give props for props to do, brother. But yeah, there's just too many fortified BDs. Now your best chance is the counter. Okay. Uh, that's the one thing you did not do, my friend. You, you should have tried to counter... Dartling Farm Ninja, it's a good strategy, but it cannot defend all the way into a round four. Absolutely not. But again, guys, it kind of sucks. I'm going to have to play on this account until my account gets fixed. I already talked to Ninja Kiwi about it, so hopefully they can do that very, very soon. But if you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And also, don't forget to check out this video where this is the top three worst towers in Balloon City Battles 2.